in our area are still mm -hmm. recovering from Superstorm Sandy, and they are looking for financial help in order to rebuild. There is a way to get money, and most people don't even know about it. Seven Year Size Nina Pineda is here with some answers. Nina? And, you know, this really offers Hope Shot A to people who have been shut out. Some homeowners, for example, wanted to rebuild but couldn't afford to meet new elevation requirements. These loans are really going to help those borrowers who are in limbo, whose homes are badly damaged, but they still want to renovate and not demolish. It's been a long road to get their home to this from this. That was the living room. After Sandy, the living room and all the rooms in the Braden's Tom's River Ranch House had to be gutted down to the studs. What was damaged inside? What did you lose? Pretty much everything. The water touched everything. The kitchen, the bathroom. Washer, dryer, refrigerator, stove, uh, all the, the baseboard heating. Their home was declared uninhabitable. They say that closed the door on most conventional bank loans. Insurance payouts were a fraction of what they needed, so the house sat rotting. Cheryl and Bill and their two kids lived apart while trying to figure out how to come home again. It was just by luck that we found out about it because a friend put me in touch with someone that does mortgages. The loan they were able to get was through a federal 203k loan program. It allowed the Bradens to refinance their damaged property and roll the estimated cost of renovation repairs into a new mortgage payment. Sandy victims just don't know what's out there. Mortgage broker Jeff Onofrio says the FAH-backed low-interest loans are an option for those who don't qualify for other lending. Most conventional loans are not going to uh, finance a home in this type of shape. We looked beyond what was going on with the house in its current state, and we looked at what it was going to be when it was completed. This house is now almost two and a half feet higher. The Bradens qualified for $185,000 enough to raise the foundation and add a second level. But most importantly, stay in the home Sandy forced the newlyweds and their blended family out of almost two years ago. Well, knowing that we're starting, you know, it, we're making progress. It's like the contractor is like, okay, we're ready, let's go. I have the permits, let's go. Those are just words so many Sandy victims would love to say themselves. The big takeaway before you should apply you should know that these are the, some of the loan eligibility requirements. First, the property has to be a primary residence. It also has to fall within one of the federally declared disaster areas, and a 3.5% down payment is required. And of course, Good Credit's also going to help you with those qualifications. Diana? Okay, thank you, Nina. I have the permit. Makes me happy hearing <laughs> it.